Right now on Jewish Voice with Jonathan Burnus. There you were. You are like a queen in the spirit. How are we helping this nation? How can we reach these people? That's why God has used this woman so greatly. <laughs> Sarah, what about you? I just wanted to own my own faith. It was a sincere, genuine search from my heart. It's really an honor to have you both. Thank you. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, where we help you to understand the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and world events surrounding Israel. I'm Jonathan Burnus. Thanks for joining us. Well, our guests today are a mother-daughter team of miracle workers who see salvations and healing in unexpected places. Here's some background on Dr. Marilyn Hickey and her daughter, Pastor Sarah Bowling. Dr. Marilyn Hickey is the president of Marilyn Hickey Ministries, a nonprofit humanitarian organization based in Denver, Colorado. She has traveled to over 136 countries, building bridges and ministering to people of all cultures. She co-hosts the international television show Today with Marilyn and Sarah, with daughter Sarah Bowling. Sarah founded Saving Moses, which focuses on saving babies ages five and under. She is co-senior pastor of Orchard Road Christian Center, the church her mother and father started 55 years ago. She and her husband, Reese, have three beautiful children. They carry the good news of Jesus to some unlikely places around the world. Please welcome Dr. Marilyn Hickey and her daughter, Pastor Sarah Bowling. Ladies, it is an honor thank you, thank you, thank you. to have you on Jewish Voice. Marilyn, I have been a believer 37 years, and when I first tuned into Christian television, there you were. You are like a queen in the spirit, and it is really an honor to have you both. Thank you. Really an honor. Well, we feel it's an honor to be with you, and you know, we were so excited when you were our guest, so we're, we're just as excited to be with you. Good. Well, I and had a lot blessing. of fun. You, I had a lot, lot of fun, fun. <laughs> and I hope you have a lot of fun here with us yeah. because we love you. Our audience loves you. I could feel it when you walked in the studio. <laughs> I really could. We had a great dinner last night, Marilyn, and you yes. told me something that blew my mind. You were in, invited to Pakistan, and you ministered to over a million people. It was on secular television. T tell us about Pakistan. Well, uh, last November, a year, you know, last November, last year, I went to Pakistan and had a million people in a meeting. But you have to remember, uh, I've been going to Pakistan since 95. So, you know, they'd never had a healing meeting, much less a woman speak. And everybody said, you know, they'll kill you when you stand up, they'll shoot you. But instead, Jesus healed people, and a lot of people got born again. So that just put a fire in me to go back. Pakistan. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. I, I. Sarah, you, you have quite a legacy with parents that have served the Lord really your whole life, but you didn't, you didn't follow along. You had a real crisis of faith. You know, on the whole, I did follow along, but I had about a year there when I wanted to see, you know, do I really believe this stuff? Because I don't really, I wanted to own my own faith and not just because, you know, my parents raised me in this. And so just because I'm born in America, I'm going to be a Christian. And it didn't work for me. So uh, I started to look and kind of explore and research. And, and uh, I remember I came home and told my mom, yeah, I don't know about this Jesus stuff. And uh, she was great. She said, you know, I uh, know that you're on a journey, but you'll come back to Christ and, and uh I know you're going to serve Jesus even more and, and more fervently than you ever had before. And I was like, yeah, awesome. Keep paying for college. <laughs> I'm happy, right? <laughs> so, because it was, it was my senior year of college. And so um, I did. I, I started looking at different religions and, and I'm really seeking God. And I wasn't trying to be rebellious. I wasn't trying to, you know, cut, cut the grain and I wasn't trying to prove a point. I just wanted to own my own faith. It was a sincere, genuine search from my heart. And so, you know, I looked at lots of different stuff. And at the end of the day, I read uh, Mere Christianity oh, by C.S. Lewis. Book. Yeah. And I was like, wow, if there's a loving, if there's a God and God wants anything to do with humanity, then this seems to be the system that God would organize. So I remember, I remember praying. I was like, God, I have this much faith. And if you can take it, I'll believe in Jesus. 
and that's where I started. And uh, it was really sweet and genuine, and I didn't try to like pick up where I left off. I said, I just want to do this brand new clean as much as possible for me, just Jesus and me, not background, not history, none of that, just Jesus and me. And uh, it's been a good adventure. Yeah. I think there's something that we that the Lord is, is really leading me to focus on here, and that's parents and grandparents that are watching the program right now, and they have a son, a daughter, a grandchild that has strayed from the faith. And Marilyn, you never lost faith that Sarah was going to come back. No, I didn't. But what the, when she said to me, you know, what choice did I have? You know, I was raised this way. And the Lord just kind of spoke to my heart and said, this is temporary. And she said, I don't know if you'll love me anymore. I don't believe in Jesus. I said, well, and the Holy Spirit will help you so much. And I said, well, Sarah, when you were born, you didn't believe anything. So I don't love you because you believe or don't believe in Jesus, but you're mine, you're ours, and we love you. So I think if we can stay in unconditional love and pray, and I prayed a lot, and I prayed a lot in the Spirit for her in that time, and she would come home and <laughs> come to our services. She wouldn't take communion. I remember going in my bedroom and crying when I got home from church. She went, I don't know that I believe in this, you know, but we just loved her. Now, this is the key. Uh, a, man, a young man began to uh, study the Gospel of John with her, and so she calls me one night from ORU, and she said, uh, I've recommitted my life to Jesus, and she said, this young man, his father was saved in your meeting 20 years ago, and here is the wow. son ministering to my daughter. Wow, I love it. I, I want you to be encouraged. Your grandchild, your, your son, your daughter will come back. You need to show unconditional love. That's right. Marilyn, you need to pray, and particularly praying in the Spirit. Oh, yeah. And keep believing God. They will be restored. Exactly. That's quick, an important word. Quick promise. Acts 17, 26, and 27, it says God sets up times, places, and events for you to experience God, although he's not far from you. And that's like divine appointments. And praying those verses, Acts 17, 26, and 27, is super key, wow. super key for those lost loved I ones. I think you're not watching this program today by accident. The Lord has, by design, caused you to be watching right now to encourage you that that loved one will return. Don't lose hope. We'll be right back. We have so many things we lean on instead of Him. Jonathan, I love to read the Bible and work on it in Hebrew. And the connection with Jesus, I mean, I can't get enough of it. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is the Messiah to the Jew first and also to the nations. We share the gospel at festivals around the world, and we also provide life-saving medical help to Jewish people living in dire poverty. Modern DNA testing has confirmed that these people are descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Many of these Jewish people we reach have maintained their Old Testament traditions and rituals for thousands of years. They need to hear the gospel and receive medical care. Time is literally running out for these sons and daughters of Abraham. Infants, toddlers, and the elderly are the most likely to die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. Medical care that most of us take for granted is desperately needed now, and the need is enormous. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. They open the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. That's why your financial support is crucial. For your gift of $35, we'll sow two special resources into your life. First, we'll send you In Step with the Spirit by Sarah Bowling. Do your circumstances seem overwhelming? Do you give in to persistent temptation? Do you wonder where God is in the midst of your struggles? No matter what you face, In Step with the Spirit is the tool that can help you overcome. 
living a spirit-filled life won't be a mystery anymore. We'll also send you a Hope and a Future DVD by Rabbi Jonathan Burness. This DVD is packed with powerful answers to the questions you have about your purpose. A Hope and a Future will help you make the most of the life God wants for you, your children, and even your grandchildren. This DVD will bless those just starting out in life or starting a new chapter in life. And if you really want to bless scattered Jewish tribes like these, please become a new monthly partner. With your new monthly partnership of $25 or more, we'll sew both of these great resources into your life and we'll add a hardcover copy of A Hope and a Future packed with additional information not on the DVD. We'll also include this lovely silver-plated Shema pendant. Wear this to display the Hebrew text of the Shema from Deuteronomy 6.4. It's a great way to share Jesus, Yeshua. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now. Receive all of these thank you gifts with your new monthly partnership of $25 or more. You can also donate $100 to receive all these gifts. Specify offer 1938. Or please specify offer 1937 when giving a one-time gift of $35 to receive In Step with the Spirit and a Hope and a Future DVD. You can also go to our website, jvmi.tv, with your gift of support, or write to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. If you just tuned in, what an honor. We have Marilyn Hickey with us, Dr. Marilyn Hickey, and her daughter, Pastor Sarah Bowling. And Sarah, it, this, you've just wrote this book. Yep. This is literally hot off the press, <laughs> In Step with the Spirit. And I love the byline, infusing your life with God's presence and power. Talk, talk about that, see, infusing I, your life with God's presence and power. And I, I really think this is so important for us to see who is the Holy Spirit in our daily living. Because sometimes I think that we always think the Holy Spirit's like this junior varsity trinity, right? He comes in when Jesus is tired and God substitutes him in. That's not really what the Bible says. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit will be with us always. So what does that look like? How do we see that in our daily living? How do we experience and recognize Holy Spirit? We sing, you know, Holy Spirit, come. What does that look like when I, when I sense the Holy Spirit speaking to me about the person in the aisle in the grocery store about ministering a Bible verse? Oh my goodness, or the person, Sunday night, Mom, I got to minister to the waitress. And she, I, God gave me a Bible verse. And when I started to give her the Bible verse, she starts to quote it back to me. She knew the Bible verse. And I was like, whoa, that's like, in <laughs> I was like, this is incredible, like the adventure of a lifetime. And uh, so I think seeing the Holy Spirit, recognizing, and then flowing with that, seeing the supernatural, seeing these miracles, stuff that's inexplainable that happens and you're like, wow, there's no way. And so that's what this is. So it's more about our awareness that it is about the Lord showing up. It's, it, it's, it's our sensitivity to the fact that he, He's always with us. Yeah, and the thing about it too is, I think sometimes we have this idea that Holy Spirit's for those rock star kind of freaky weirdo people. Um, and we don't understand what does the Holy Spirit look like when I'm walking down the aisle in Walmart? Because that's absolutely true. The Holy Spirit is completely there. And how many times have I ministered to somebody in Walmart because the Holy Spirit led me to give that person a Bible verse? Oh, my goodness. And then pray for this person. Or, and so what is that? Just the day-to-day -day stuff. And then training our kids to do that. And then there's a great chapter in here. How do you handle a closed door? Because everybody wants open doors, <laughs> right? One, one step, that piece of advice that a person can take to move into this awareness and actually be used by God more effectively. Mm -hmm. So Jesus said in John chapter 14, I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper. I love that Jesus didn't say the Holy Spirit, he said the helper. And so in my mind, the nickname for the Holy Spirit is help. That's I think of I Abraham say. when you say that, God saying, go to a land that I will show you. He has to wake up every day and say, Lord, Where do I help. go? Where yep. do I go today? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I want to share something here that happened to me after my husband died. I had a good marriage, but I awakened the morning after he died, singing in the spirit, singing in tongues. I said, Lord, 
why am I singing? Why are you giving me this song? He said, because I danced over you in the night. Oh. And I think if we can know in all occasions of our life, he didn't leave us, he's there. And I like what you said, but do we recognize him and let him minister to us? What a great story. Marilyn, I've been, I, I know you're asked this all the time. You see, you're going in, into developing nations all over the world. You're seeing huge crowds and you're seeing the power of God move. You're seeing people healed dramatically. Why? does it seem to be so much easier or more, more prevalent healings, miracles outside of the Western world, outside of the U.S.? We have so many things we lean on instead of Him. That's one of the reasons, I think. Another thing is, I think God is wooing and drawing nations. And to me, that's so touching to me. Someone said to me the other day, I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to buy you a house. I said, I have a house. Get me a nation. <laughs> God so loves the world. I love it. The world. That's why God has used this woman so greatly. <laughs> That's why. I, I have to talk about Israel. After all, this oh, is of Jewish you voice. Do, you, bet. you both have a great love for Israel and the Jewish people. Why? Do you want to share first? You go first. Well, I've been to Israel 24 times. So, you know, my husband and I started going more. Just we wanted to see the biblical places. But then I thought, how are we helping this nation? How can we reach these people? And so I love to go to Israel because I believe that's our roots. And sometimes when you begin to witness to a Jewish person, they act like, why are you bothering me? Because they don't like the cross and you know they've been persecuted in these countries. So can we show them we really love them and we have our roots in what they are and we also have hope for the future for them because they're going to look on him whom they pierced. Amen. And so I have to say this, I have great faith for Jewish people because they're in the Bible. You can't get around the Bible. So if I can show love in different ways because God loves them. Plus, you know, I pray for like 40 nations every day. Do you think I miss Israel? No way. <laughs> oh, you no are provoking way. me to jealousy. Sarah, what about you? And growing up, the first time I went to Israel, I was five years old. And uh, my dad baptized me in the Jordan River. Never forget it. We slipped down the bank because it wasn't all, you know, developed or anything. And, and I remember going to the biblical sites, seeing, you know, the valley where David killed Goliath. Uh, those things marked me as a kid. And then from there on, just sensing and getting around and being, and I love, Jonathan, I love to read the Bible and work on it in Hebrew, right? Started studying Hebrew, and I love the depth of that and the richness of that and what that speaks into my heart and the connection with Jesus. I mean, I can't get enough of it. I can't get enough of it. I mean, so it, it speaks to the very core of me. And I think if you genuinely love Jesus, then how can you not help oh, yourself but agree. love Jew Jewish people? Oh, my goodness. Well, Natural. as a Jewish believer, I want to say thank you to mm. both of you. And thank you for those who have stood with Jewish Voice for so many years. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. I know there's so many people watching that are asking God, use me. Yeah. I would rather try and fail than miss God. Take the risk. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is the Messiah to the Jew first and also to the nations. We share the gospel at festivals around the world, and we also provide life-saving medical help to Jewish people living in dire poverty. Modern DNA testing has confirmed that these people are descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Many of these Jewish people we'd reach have maintained their Old Testament traditions and rituals for thousands of years. They need to hear the gospel and receive medical care. Time is literally running out for these sons and daughters of Abraham. Infants, toddlers, and the elderly are the most likely to die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. Medical care that most of us take for granted is desperately needed now, and the need is enormous. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. They open the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. 
That's why your financial support is crucial. For your gift of $35, we'll sow two special resources into your life. First, we'll send you In Step with the Spirit by Sarah Bowling. Do your circumstances seem overwhelming? Do you give in to persistent temptation? Do you wonder where God is in the midst of your struggles? No matter what you face, In Step with the Spirit is the tool that can help you overcome. Living a Spirit-filled life won't be a mystery anymore. We'll also send you a Hope and a Future DVD by Rabbi Jonathan Burness. This DVD is packed with powerful answers to the questions you have about your purpose. A Hope and a Future will help you make the most of the life God wants for you, your children, and even your grandchildren. This DVD will bless those just starting out in life or starting a new chapter in life. And if you really want to bless scattered Jewish tribes like these, please become a new monthly partner. With your new monthly partnership of $25 or more, we'll sew both of these great resources into your life and we'll add a hardcover copy of A Hope and a Future packed with additional information not on the DVD. We'll also include this lovely silver-plated Shema pendant. Wear this to display the Hebrew text of the Shema from Deuteronomy 6.4. It's a great way to share Jesus, Yeshua. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now. Receive all of these thank you gifts with your new monthly partnership of $25 or more. You can also donate $100 to receive all these gifts. Specify offer 1938 or please specify offer 1937 when giving a one-time gift of $35 to receive In Step with the Spirit and a Hope and a Future DVD. You can also go to our website, jvmi.tv, with your gift of support or write to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. Well, if you're joining us, <laughs> you, got, you got in just in time because Marilyn Hickey and her daughter, Pastor Sarah Bowling, are here with us. And Sarah has a brand new book out. It's called In Step with the Spirit, Infusing Your Life with God's Presence and Power. I want to be in step with the Spirit. Mm, I too. hope you do, too. I know you are. <laughs> My goodness, for well, so I many years. I always want to be. <laughs> Sarah, how can people move into a place to be used in a greater way by God. I, I know there's so many people watching that are asking God, use me. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, one is a willingness and that, that idea that I, I want to be used, but I think as well, risk. That's a big one. It is. Take the risk. Step out and you say, well, and what happens is when we think about letting the Holy Spirit use us, and then the Holy Spirit starts to tap you on the shoulder. Hey, I'd like for you to pray for that person. And then we come up with all the reasons. No, I'm too busy. They're going to think I'm a weirdo. I'm scared of it. I've never done it before. What happens if they don't get what, you know, and we go through this, all that mental conversation and we don't take the risk. So we talk ourselves out of it. And, and sometimes I think you have to pre-decide the answer is yes. Yeah, I think that's a really hard one. Most people are very risk adverse. Marilyn, has that been has that been an issue for you, or did you get have you got so used to taking risk that it just becomes <laughs> She's easier? Totally risky. <laughs> I think I like a risk. I would rather try and fail than miss God. And all the time I try, I learn better to hear His voice. Yeah. Be praying for that ministry, Marilyn. We we just have a minute left. Yeah. There's so many people watching that have needs. Yeah. They need healing for themselves or a loved one. They need to hear from God. They may have a financial. Would you just take a moment and pray yes. for our viewers? So Father, in the name of Jesus, I send the word into everyone watching this program. Father, the word prospers and accomplishes in that which it's sent to. The word cannot return void. So Psalm 107.20, that word is out there working in the viewers who are saying, I need healing. Maybe a broken heart, maybe depression, a broken marriage, depression over their children. I thank you 
The Word yes, works. The Word is powerfully working in everyone's life who's receiving it right now in Jesus' name. Now put your hand on your heart. Say, I receive it. I in receive it. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What a great honor having you both. <laughs> please, you. please, so please come back. Yeah, yeah. And I want to urge you, get in step with the Spirit. This book will help you to do that. God wants you in step with Him. There is limited time left, and we need to do the works of Him who sent us while it is yet day. Night will come, Jesus said, when no man can work. So now is your opportunity. Get in step with God and get the book. If you have questions, if you have prayer needs, I want you to know that we're here for you. And please know God loves you. Let me say it again. Get it into your spirit. God loves you, and so do we. If you have questions or prayer needs, remember we're here for you. You can log on to our website. It's jvmi.tv. I want you to know God loves you. You need to hear that. God loves you, and so do we. In fact, God has a special blessing for you this week as we mark the biblical feast. Take a look. This week we're celebrating a really important Jewish holiday. It's known as Rosh Hashanah, or the head of the year. This is the Jewish New Year. It's one of the feasts that's mentioned in Leviticus 23. And you may think, well, that's great for the Jewish people, but guess what? It's important for you. It's important because it has prophetic significance. It's mentioned in Scripture as Yom Teruah, or the blowing of the trumpets or the shofars, and it actually points to the last days, the time when the last trump will sound and we'll be gathered to meet the Lord in the air. By the way, one of the traditions is to eat apples and honey, and that's why we have it here. I'm going to eat one right after I finish because I don't want my mouth to be full, but we dip the apple in the honey, because it's sweet and we say Lashana Tova, Happy New Year. And it's why, honey? Because we want your year to be a sweet year. So Lashana Tova, Happy New Year to you. And find out more about Rosh Hashanah, about Yom Teruah, and how it connects prophetically with the days we live in. It's important for you. We have some great resources to teach you more about the Feasts of Israel. They're not just the Feasts of, the, of Israel, they're the Feasts of the Lord. You can log on to our website, it's jvmi.tv. And as we close, I want to remind you, Psalm 122.6 says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, may they prosper who love thee. Hey, speaking of Jerusalem, we're going to Jerusalem next year. It's the 70th anniversary of the State of Israel, and we're going to celebrate in Israel with Israelis. You can log on to our website. Again, it's jvmi.tv for more information. And until next time, I'm Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. Amen.